All right, y'all. What's up? Welcome back to a video. Uh, you already know what kind of video this is going to be. I'm basically going to be giving y'all some tips or just sharing what I use as far as prosthetics go for sex and sex. Yeah, that's what we're going to get into. So I'm going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to show y'all the harness setup that I use for sex. In my other videos, I have mentioned that I used um, the spare parts jock harness. I don't use that anymore like that unless I really have to. Or unless these are dirty um, and I have no choice and I still want to you know what I'm saying like do the deed uh, and then I'll use it but that's not my first choice now my first choice is what I'm about to show you but why did I stop using that honestly the spare parts harness um, if you look it up it's spare parts j-o-q-e jock jock harness and it has velcro straps so whenever you know when you first get it it's very sturdy but then after like you wash it a couple times and you keep using it the Velcro sound like will happen mid session. Like you'll be having sex, and next thing you know, you're hearing Velcro. So it's just like, it's not the vibe. Um, especially being a trans man, I feel like, you know, I personally do want to pursue bottom surgery, and it doesn't even really have to do with bottom surgery necessarily. But it's just like when you're having sex with someone, you don't really want to be hearing Velcro sounds. Like, I think that's just like a general thing across the board. Like you just don't want to be hearing that. Like it's not like part of the vibe. Like. That's why, you know, this this thing I'm about to show you, these harnesses, make it just a much more enjoyable and I'm able to be more in the moment because I'm not hearing sounds or, you know what I mean? Things that are taking me out of the moment. I just feel like, okay, this is me, this is on my body and like, we're, we're getting it on. So I say these because I have two. So this is a large. This right here is the ADIC or AIBC. Um, I have a website to look, I'm gonna look up the website real quick just to show y'all where to buy them. All right, yo, I had to literally go find them. They're like deep in the website. Um, yeah, so I found these like, honestly, it was a blessing that I found these. I was just looking for underwear, trying different things out and I found these and they stuck. So the brand is AIBC, but it's, I don't know exactly who these people are, but another website, sell them. Um, the website, I'm gonna put it right here. It's called ohmyunderwear.com. I'll put it on the screen ohmyunderwear.com and look they come in you got orange ones so i guess they're labeled as a beep ring jock strap um they have a bunch of different colors so they got black they got gray black the one i have is black they have blue and orange but yeah i like black just because i feel like it's discreet and like it's just the most neutral color that they have so what i do is i get a large this one is the large and I have two. I also have a medium. Bam. So as you can see, a little bit smaller than the large. So what I do is I put the medium on first, put the prosthetic inside, and then after I have it on, then I go ahead and put the large one over that. Now this is because things like the the jock harness with the with the velcro, it does secure you because you're you're really strapped in, you're you're secure. But something like this, you know what I mean? one you can get away with one but i'm just like i didn't feel as secure and my prosthetic that i have it's over a pound in weight so the pound right when you're when you put it inside of the of the ring like a pound of prosthetic you know what i mean like it's a lot so it pulls down on it so then this part starts to droop so what i found is putting another one over it eliminates the drooping effect and it really just locks me in but you know i guess it's not the most ideal thing obviously um, you know, it would be amazing to have bottom surgery right now and not have to use anything, but we're not there when the process of doing that. And this is the next best thing that has alleviated a lot of bottoms for it for me because I've tried to like the glues, um, adhesives, they just don't give me the stability and like the secureness that I really want. This is a cool option. And because I don't hear any sound and it's so close to me, it just feels good in that regard. But yeah, it just feels good in that regard. And you know it's gonna it's gonna have to work until i actually get bottom surgery um you guys already know my surgery for my hysterectomy is literally about two and a half weeks away um getting prepped for that i'm honestly ready for it just because i know it's like a step towards the direction that i want to go and yeah eventually i won't have to use um these makeshift things but i'm blessed to even have this because you know a lot of people they use other means that don't really make you feel the best um, as far as dysphoria and I'm really happy with what I have right now. So, you know, thanks be to God. It's all good Now I do have my prosthetic. It's in here I'm not gonna show it just for privacy purposes and things of that sort 
And I realized, you know, honestly, being trans as well, I do want to help my trans brothers out there that want to get prosthetics and need reviews on it. And I'm more than happy to give you reviews, but at the same time, this is my prosthetic and it's a part of me. So it's like, I don't have to just show that to the whole world if I don't want to. Um, part of me wants to for educational purposes, but then I want to also keep my dignity and my, my privacy. So I found this compromise. I'll show it through here. Uh, as you can see, so this is the tab. And then it starts from right here, it goes all the way up here. I'm not showing it again because it's I've been using it. This is a part of me at this point. It just feels really weird. But um, if you want to look up the sizing and everything like that, I would 100% recommend this prosthetic. It is the Zeus prosthetic from MSO. Z-E-U-S, Zeus prosthetic from MSO. This is probably one of my favorite prosthetics I've ever had. Um, why is it my favorite prosthetic that I ever had? So also, I, I asked them to do a, I'll show you all that. And they made a pleasure pocket where you put your junk it's pretty deep it's good to just have there it has some ridges in there um i ordered it and then emailed them the same day and said hey can you add a pleasure pocket they responded the next day said that's perfectly fine so if you do want a pleasure pocket i think i mentioned in other videos just ask them and they'll definitely go ahead and do that but why is this my favorite prosthetic for one the zeus the one i had before was also from imisol it was the pepperoncini i no longer have that one i was tired of it it was just sitting i would have gifted to someone else but I chopped the tab because the tab stuck out too much and it was kind of botched and it's been sitting in my drawer for a long time. I, I feel like it's unsafe to use anymore. So I'm well, not unsafe, but I just didn't want it and I don't want to give someone else my, my penis prosthetic like that. I don't, that's just, no, no, uh, no. That's like transferring energy, low key. Like I've had sexual intercourse with people, with my girlfriend and stuff, and then to give you that prosthetic is like, no. But anyways, um. Yeah, I absolutely love this prosthetic one because like I said, the pepperoncini, it kind of drooped down. So it was more, it was more down and the Zeus, my pets. So the Zeus, which is this one, um, this is just, I'm holding it from the bottom, from the base and you can see how, how erect or up it is. I love that because say I'm sitting, you know, I can easily, like, it just makes more sense compared to if it was down. If it was pointed down and you're trying to penetrate this way, it just doesn't work. So this I find to be the best for like all positions. Um, the size on this is perfect. Um, I like the weight of it. It makes me feel secure. But then again, that is why I have to use two of these underwear uh, straps or what is it called? A harness. Uh, I think that's what they call it. A ring harness. Jock strap. Uh, that's why I have to use two of the jock straps because it's it's heavy, right? This is I think it's about 18 ounces if I'm not mistaken. You guys can check on the website, but yeah, this is one of my favorite prosthetics. I just love, I don't know, it just feels like me. I feel like, you know, this one may not make you feel like you and that's totally fine. But once you find the one or the company or the sizing that makes you feel like you, you'll, you'll know. Um, I've tried other sizes, pepperoncini, I think it was about four and a half inches to five inches insertable length. This one I believe is about six or six and a half insertable length. So um, six and a half insertable length, but it's about seven and a half total. But yeah, you know, it's just six and a half insertable length is what a lot of websites use or companies use to describe the actual insertable penetration length that can be used. Um, and the rest is just the body of the prosthetic. So yeah, this one feels like home. Um, and it's really a lot of experimentation. I've went through countless numbers of uh, prosthetics I've had. Peacock, Imacil, Real Magic, Gender Cat, um, a bunch of other ones that I can't even remember right now. The Mr. Limby Packers. I've done through, went through a lot of Packers. Uh, yeah, a lot of Packers, Standard P devices, things like that. So it's really about finding what works for you. Um, and I know people have asked me about Packers and other things like that. I don't really pack, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I find it to be like just a lot of mental hassle having to wake up, find the correct underwear. Like I haven't found a packing solution or a packing route that actually felt like home to me. So. Who knows i still could find one or i might just wait until i you know get bottom surgery and it's a done deal and i don't even have to pack anymore and i'll just have the peace of mind because i i do like to just get up and like kind of be free not feel like i need to add something to myself to feel okay um i already do that in the bedroom when i want to have sex so i feel like you know in my day-to-day -day life i'm going to the gym whatever i don't really feel the need uh just in public at the grocery store i don't feel the need to pack i, I feel pretty content with what i have and you know, that's a blessing a lot of people don't and they need to pack it's more like that but for me i'm okay with what i have until you know i get upgraded to something else um it's not that dire 
there is of course times where I'm like, oh, it would be nice if I had a bulge. Like I, I do feel very emasculated. Is that the word? I feel very emasculated or does emasculated mean more masculine? Anyways, I feel more masculine um, and in my truest um, presentation when I am packing, that's a given, but I also don't feel inferior when I'm not only in certain situations. Like if I'm really overthinking things that day or maybe in my head about something or just feeling a little bit less, you know, for whatever reason, like we all have days where we feel less in some degree. So that's normal. But for the most part, I'm fine without packing. It doesn't even really cross my mind. Like if I go to Trader Joe's or I go to the grocery store, or I go to the gym, I'm not I don't think about the fact that I don't have anything in my pants at all. Unless it's apparent, I really don't. Like 90% of the time, I don't think about it. So that's just me and my experience being in this body. But yeah, I'm honestly so excited for bottom surgery, y'all. I feel like, you know, not even just bottom surgery. Let's even talk about the hysterectomy. I feel like I really do experience the period symptoms a lot. Like they're very, very apparent now. Um, I get about two and a half weeks of feeling normal. And then my hormones just kick up. The week before I get my period is like, I just feel different, a little more agitated, a little more irritated. Um, I just feel it. And then the, of course the week of is a thing. And then, you know, so it's about two weeks of process, a whole two week thing where I'm dealing with my period and symptoms and things like that, PMSing, um, all that. So I'm excited to see how I'm gonna feel after the hysterectomy. I know that it's gonna be a change, but I'm honestly down for it. Uh, my body has adapted to change. My body has adapted to change very, very well. I'm on testosterone. My body has adapted to that. I know my body can get through this as well. So I'm very excited. After that, the next step essentially is bomb surgery. So very, very excited. Um, I'm going to be documenting my journey as as always. Um, and I realized that this channel, I, at once I made this channel to document my transition and things of that sort and just life in general of me. But I realize a lot of the people that watch me are trans and they do want information as far as that goes. But, you know, right now I'm trying to find the balance between the two and I think I don't have to try to find it. I just am being right. I post vlog content. I post trans related content and, you know, they kind of coincide. You can't have one without the other. I'm not I don't think I would ever do just trans content and I don't think I would ever do just like, you know, lifestyle content. But they can both exist at the same time because I'm a trans person and I have a life so I can make trans content and make lifestyle content because that's just me. I can make any type of video I want to make. So also to y'all, don't limit yourself just because you're trans and you think you can only, every video you post has to be a, a T update or, you know, something for people to actually care because if people really care about you, they're going to, of course, want to know about your journey and who you are and what made you you, but they're also going to want to know about, you know, your grocery store trip and the things that make you, um, you know that make you happy and giggle and the and the type of movies you like and the type of food you like and the what you're interested in what your hobbies are the music that you make the whatever so that's where i'm at uh, of course i'm trans you know and that's my identity I, I i claim that identity but at the same time i have so much more to offer and i just pray and i hope that y'all stick around for that you know see me yes as a trans person you can look at and look up to look for advice look for not i don't want to say guidance completely but if i you know what i'm saying if god through me guides you in some direction or it gives you a word that's that's amazing that's god's will and that is what's going to happen i don't have any i don't have any say or control over what god is going to do through me but you know i i really just want everyone on here to just support me for me and you know get as much as you can out of this channel and me and if i can you know provide anything for you that's not going to be you know taking off my arm or my leg i'm here for you <laughs> don't ask me for a million dollars or something like that i'm not going to give it to you but, uh, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying some advice uh some words um i'm always down for it um of course when i can right i'm a human as well my capacity is the same as your capacity uh we all have i'm well, not gonna say it's the same as your capacity but i'm trying to say I'm a human just like you're a human so of course anything that you think you can handle of course i think i can handle it as well right so yeah i appreciate y'all for watching i hope this kind of um assisted somebody assisted you in some way because i know one of the biggest things for me when it comes to engaging in sex and not dreading it is the comfortability and this has really made it way better you know i i didn't know that i could use uh jock straps and double up on them and it'll create a secure um a secure station for me to um, put my prosthetic and feel whole um, you know in the bedroom and things like that so yeah you know the the jog harness it was doing what it had to do for about two years but I think 
This is my third jock harness. I got, I had a black one, I had a red one, and then I, had, I got a black one again. And I was like, I'm tired, you know what I'm saying? There's only so much, so many times you can do the same thing and it's not really satisfying you. You get tired after a point, so that's where I'm at. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get another prosthetic um, between now and the time that I have bottom surgery. My prosthetics, depending on how frequently I use them, last me about three years, I would say, three to four years for is pushing it depending on the frequency of um, how much i'm using it and how whatever i'm doing with it but i've been very gentle with this one i think i've got it i think i've had it for about a year so let's say two years from now it should still be kicking uh two years from now i definitely see myself having bottom surgery so i think it'll work out just fine but yeah hopefully the zeus is my last prosthetic um and the next one is just all me so appreciate y'all for watching stay up continue to explore and understand things do your research do your homework um, on things that you want don't jump to conclusions with things because you know these these things that a lot of the trans people like me are, are, and you if you're watching are are faced with these things are most likely irreversible right like you cannot put your chest back on your chest you cannot undo uh, bottom surgery you cannot put back your ovaries you can't put back your uterus you cannot completely reverse testosterone effects so just know i'm not telling you to doubt yourself but i'm just saying fully understand and be sure that you're on the path of um you know self self-discovery in a way that's actually beneficial for you right um i think what i've done and what i'm still doing is 100 percent beneficial for me um to the outside looking in it may seem like i'm crazy and why am i jeopardizing my health and this and this and that but i feel like i know that i'm actually elevating my mental health i'm elevating my physical health um it's, it's just a lot that goes into it and I can't say too much besides just watch and to uh, you know if you have any doubts just continue watching my journey and you know I don't want to say I'm going to prove you wrong but um, let's just see how it turns out right that's, that's all I can do I'm confident you know it's, it is what it is but let me go feed my dog let me make sure the house is all in order it is 9-22 shout out my mom it's her birthday 9-22 September 22nd my mom's birthday um, I'm gonna see what I do for her, but yeah, this, this is this is her time. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate you. Much love. See you in the next one.